battery sensors have been around for quite a while. Historically, they were current sensors which were on the ground cable, which would come down here. It would go around the cable. We've mounted this directly for a few reasons, but one of them is that we have a battery um, a, a temperature sensor on board, and by having a direct metal contact, we can very closely simulate what is the internal temperature of the battery, which is very important for getting an accurate model of how this will charge and discharge. So we have it on the negative post, and uh, we measure voltage and current and temperature, and it's highly accurate. And because of the way we use that model, it's the most accurate method of doing it. The benefit is that it gives us more accuracy, which means uh, the stop-start feature will be enabled more than other systems that don't have a sensor. So there's three major benefits of having that. One is for enabling the stop-start. Um, if you pull up and you're in an idle condition and you want to stop the engine, the first thing and most important is you want to know that you have enough power to start up again. The second benefit is for load management. Uh, if your battery is fully charged, you're going to be able to allow the consumers in the vehicle, whether it's heated seat or heated steering wheel, defrost, whatever, to operate in its full condition. However, if the state of charge is getting lower because you've been in a lot of idle stop conditions, then the body computer can use our information and turn down those consumers so that the heated seat or the, the steering wheel heater um, or the rear defrost is duty cycled or turned down a little bit and it conserves the battery. Okay, so you can still have your, your uh, start stop feature going as well, but it's conserving the, uh, what's left in the battery. That's the second benefit. And the third benefit is it can, it can extend battery life. By knowing what the state of charge is on the battery, um, we have algorithms that can help extend the life by understanding when, when different conditions are going in on inside, such as sulfation or stratification.